This year is also a challenging year for Amazon merchants. The logistics pressure brought by the global epidemic is lasting. Since April, an Amazon store closing tie has shaken the whole cross-border circle, just like a blockbuster. There are rumors that Amazon has banned a total of 50,000 stores this time. Public opinion is in an uproar that many of them are also Chinese big sellers. Is Amazon directly targeting Chinese sellers this time? For this phenomenon, Amazon has also recently released an official response in a related ceremony recently held. Mr. Dai, the vice president of Amazon Global, said that in the recent attention to the closure of the event, Amazon blocked a total of 600 Chinese brand sales, about 3,000 sellers' account. The reason for this massive store closure is because all of these accounts have repeatedly abused reviews multiple times. However, the vice president also said that the store closure is not only for China. Merchants in other countries have also suffered the same punishment. Of course, regarding the seller's biggest concern about the frozen funds, Amazon said that the seller's concern can get back the frozen funds by way of appeal within 90 days. Although Amazon's official spokesman says so, many sellers still say that everyone feels in danger in the situation today, and fear of stepping on the Amazon's minefield. Now that we are about to meet the peak season, we have put together six major Amazon policy restrictions that we hope sellers will focus on in their next operations. Amazon has not allowed the sale of counterfeit products. Once discovered by Amazon, you will face product removal, suspension of your sales account, and even destruction of counterfeit inventory, freezing of funds, etc. There is another easily overlooked fake feature, not due to infringement, but the goods and description of serious discrepancies include the following examples. Violation of the product review policy is the main reason for this massive store closure. Amazon does not allow sellers to directly ask buyers for positive reviews or through some marketing techniques to try to influence buyers' reviews. And of course, it does not allow sweeping and directly forging false reviews. You can request feedback and comments from buyers in a neutral manner, but not in the following situations. For example. Prohibit the creation of duplicate assets. Amazon does not allow the sale of goods that promote hatred, violence, race, sex, religious discrimination, and other related items. Amazon is a platform that attaches great importance to product safety. For product safety control throughout the product sales process, safety compliance requirements. Our relatively strict categories include children's products, electronic products, various types of lighting, etc. Amazon recently released a new policy on product environmental protection. Sellers on the French side as well as the German side have to meet EPR requirements. Amazon does not allow dangerous products to be warehoused in FBI warehouses. For example, automotive categories, office categories. Laptops, household cleaners, cosmetics. These are the six major policy restrictions of Amazon. Catching any one of them will bring a fatal blow to the products and stores. During the current peak season, sellers should pay more attention to Amazon rules. I also consider the new rules we talked about last time. Focus your attention on ensuring the quality of your products. Starting with sourcing and choosing a trustworthy factory. After all, once the store is closed, the possibility of a successful appeal is not high. Wish sellers a booming business.